As the space industry continues to expand and make new developments, SpaceX and many other companies are beginning to face criticism on their role surrounding space debris. While space debris may not seem like much of a problem right now, many experts have warned that as we fill up the sky above with more and more satellites and other objects, we are actively increasing the chance of a disastrous collision occurring. Generally speaking, all space debris, or space junk, is the result of us sending objects up into the atmosphere and then having them remain in orbit until they re-enter and burn up in the atmosphere. Smaller objects that are in lower orbits usually return quickly to Earth. However, space debris or satellites that are left at a much higher geostationary orbit of 36,000 kilometers can continue to circle the Earth for hundreds of years. A few astronomers have argued that Starlink satellites are crowding up the view of the sky and have also now been forced to change their orbit over risks of a collision. While it is rare for a collision between two satellites to occur, a few countries, such as the US, China, and India, have used missiles in the past to test blowing up their own satellites. In doing so, these practice explosions have created thousands of small pieces of space debris in Earth's orbit. With some people concerned about space debris, one solution that has got so many people excited is Elon Musk's idea of using SpaceX's Starship to chomp up space debris. In a tweet posted back in July, Musk was asked whether SpaceX had thought of any way to try to collect space debris, given space debris could directly affect their business if it got out of control. In response to this tweet, Musk said, yes, we can fly Starship around space and chomp up debris with the moving fairing door. For reference, Starship's fairing door is the large cover that would go over the top of any cargo the Starship is taking to space. Once Starship reaches orbit or the cargo's destination, the fairing door would then open up and let any cargo out. And then lastly, the fairing door would close once again in preparation for the trip back down. With SpaceX already working on Starship's fairing door for the purpose of transporting cargo into space, the company may also see the added benefit that after the cargo is gone, Starship can be used to bring space debris back down safely to Earth. While Musk hasn't yet given any more information on whether SpaceX is actively working on this solution, with this tweet, it's clear that the company has at least given the idea some thought. As of right now, the problem of space debris doesn't pose a threat to space exploration missions. Instead, the main risk surrounding space debris in 2021 is that it could damage or collide with other satellites in orbit. In fact, every year satellites, including the International Space Station, have to carry out collision avoidance maneuvers in order to avoid getting damaged by any space junk. Since 1999, the ISS has performed a total of 25 debris avoidance maneuvers. By using SpaceX's Starship to clean up dead satellites and other space junk that poses a risk to active satellites, this idea could be yet another opportunity for SpaceX to use Starship in ways that other space rockets never had the option of doing before. However, for now, SpaceX's main goal is getting Starship into orbit. Once the company can successfully make trips with Starship into orbit, we will likely learn more about the specific use cases of Starship, whether it be using Starship as a telescope, a spacecraft to clean space debris, or as an interstellar hotel, the possibilities truly are endless. Although Starship could help remove large dead satellites still sitting in orbit, some believe this may not be enough to solve the space junk problem over the next 50 years. One theory, proposed in 1978 by NASA scientist Donald Kessler, was that if too much space junk built up in the Earth's orbit, there could be a snowball effect where more and more objects collide and create even more new space junk up until the Earth's orbit becomes unstable. This theory is now known as the Kessler Syndrome, and while it is extreme, it helps us understand the risks associated with space debris. Here are some numbers that help explain the current situation of space junk surrounding Earth. As of right now, there are 2,000 active satellites in Earth's orbit, 3,000 dead satellites in Earth's orbit, 34,000 pieces of space junk larger than 10 centimeters, and 128 million pieces of space junk larger than 1 millimeter. With this growing problem, the United Nations has now requested that all companies remove their own satellites from orbit 25 years after they complete their mission. Apart from Starship, some proposed ways companies could clean up their space debris include using a harpoon to grab their satellite, catching it in a huge net, or even potentially using lasers to heat up the satellite to increase its atmospheric drag and help it fall out of orbit. All these solutions to clean up space debris are fairly new and yet to be tested, so only time will tell which pan out. Either way, as more and more companies like SpaceX plan to launch thousands of satellites into orbit, it will be more important than ever that collision avoidance measures are in place.
and the problem of space debris is taken into account. So with all that being said, what do you think of the current situation of space junk building up in Earth's orbit? Do you like Elon Musk's idea of using Starship to chomp up space debris in the future? Let us know in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more space videos every week.